anybody pressure you to quit your job when I started my business and when my business started growing I had people on both sides I had people pressuring me to quit I had people pressuring me to you know stay because I do work in a government job so it's like you get good benefits <laughs> channel y'all should already know who it is or you should know who it is rika rodrika the ceo of i tasty cosmetics six figure tasty and i am back with another video if you're new to my channel be sure to you know subscribe and like if you are not new welcome back tasty seven gang and this video as you can tell from the title is on full-time job versus the business so a lot of people don't know that i still work my full-time job and a lot of people find it crazy Especially the fact that I was still in school this whole time and I finally just graduated and got my bachelor's, you know, I have a video on that. But um, a lot of people did not know, like, yes, I have a full-time job, a full-time business, businesses actually, and I also was going to school full-time as well. I was taking five classes a semester and I'm so glad that that's finally over and I have like something off my plate. But yeah, I still work my full-time job, so this video is kind of me kind of like, you know, comparing it and talking about it because this was a requested video. I had it in my notes. Well, now I can't see how long it's been in my notes for, but it has been in my notes for a minute. And when I was like kind of finding things to do videos on because I do like ask for suggestions on my Instagram polls and a lot of the people that comment, they either don't watch my videos because they'll be requesting videos that I have several videos on. It's like, okay, I have several videos on this. Clearly, you're not a subscriber. But, um... Yeah, I kind of be having blocks sometimes, like, where I don't know what kind of videos to post. And then I'll go through and find, like, lists that I made previously with requested videos. And this was one of them. And I was like, that's a good topic. Because, like I said, a lot of people, they did not know I work my full-time job. And then I had people like, oh, why do you still work your full-time job if your business is doing good? I work my full-time job because, I mean, there's pros and cons with both. I, since I've started working, I've never stopped. I've always worked. I like to work. Um, it's just kind of part of my routine. And now when I think about it, it's like, if I wasn't working, I don't know what I would be doing. Like, even with my business, I just feel like I would be so bored because I'm so used to getting up every morning. I've usually always worked morning shift. I've always worked at least two to three jobs, like, since I started working. Even when I got my cosmetology license, I was working in the salon while also working another job because hair is kind of like a business. You're working for yourself. It's not like consistent money. You're waiting for people. Like, you know, when I was running my own chair, like I have to go hustle and get clientele. So it's kind of the same thing as having a business. You're not getting consistent income. So I've always worked at least two to three jobs just because I like to buy things when I want to buy them. And I just like being independent. I like buying things when I want to buy them. I like being independent. I like saving money because I'm just always thinking about a rainy day. And that's just how I've been. So it's like now that I've been used to this, like even my current job now, I've been working at this hospital for the past three years of my life. It's like I've been so used to getting up in the morning and going there, sometimes being there all day, 12 hours, and then coming home to work on my business. I've always worked on my business late at night, except on like my off days sometimes. So it's like when I finally do quit eventually, I'm not going to know what I'm going to do with my life. It's going to be like when people retire after working at a place for like 20 to 30 years and they finally retire and they're so bored and they have nothing to do. That's going to be me because it's like if I've been able to run my business for over a year and a half and come this far with everything I had going on with school, work, as far as things going on in my personal life. When I finally quit, I'm going to still be able to, you know, handle it. So that's kind of, and like I said, there's pros and cons. If you work a full-time job, there's sick leave, paid time off. When you run a business, you don't have that. If I somehow get sick, God forbid, I am taken away from my business. Unless I have staff or my team, I'm the CEO. I'm the only one running my business. So when I get sick, when I want to go on vacation, I'm not getting paid for that. If I'm sick for a week, that means a week my business is not being taken care of. If I go out of town for a week, two weeks, or a month, that's a month my business is not being taken care of unless, you know, I have staff or a team or an assistant or stuff like that. Meanwhile, with my full-time job, 
if I don't feel good, I could use some of my leave I have saved up, take sick leave, and I can still be paid for sitting at home. I can sit at home, lay in bed, still be getting paid for that, and it won't reflect my income coming in. If I want to go out of town for my birthday or just for a mental break, if I want to go out of town for a few days, whatever leave I've accumulated, I can do that, and I'm still getting paid for it. When I leave my business and I go out of town, I'm not getting paid for that. Yes, I hopefully will still have orders coming through, but it won't be the same as you know like a job and you know what like, I like having that you know consistent I've always been about having consistent income and having multiple streams of income because like I said I've always worked two to three jobs since I've started working since I've started working I've always had two to three jobs I don't like depending on just one thing and even with my businesses I don't just get money from my businesses and even with that I don't touch it that money just re is reinvested right back into my business it just continues to grow i have my business income i have my job income i have my youtube income even that i don't touch period i've never spent a dime from any money i've made from youtube that's just sitting there because like i said i just don't you know i'd like to use my job income because that technically if i wasn't doing any of this other stuff that would be the only income i have so i try to survive with what i get from my job even though my incomes from everything else is way more than what i make like it's been days like last year on my one year sale i made in a day what i make it would take me months to make in my job months what i made in a day it takes months <laughs> but like I said, I just, I just, you know, survive my, my insurance, my car insurance and stuff. I just pay that, you know, with my job income and I don't touch my business income. I continue to grow it. But like I said, I've just always been disciplined like that. And another thing I want to talk on is don't let anybody pressure you to quit your job. When I started my business and when my business started growing, I had people on both sides. I had people pressuring me to quit. I had people pressuring me to, you know, stay because I do work in a government job. So it's like, you get good benefits, you this, you that, you that, 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 that. Now I'm just working because like I said, I'm, I have school off my plate. So it's not like I have a lot going on. And like I said, I've just been disciplined to get up and work. Am I going to sit here and work for the rest of my life? No, but I'm saying just at this point in time in my life, I've just been disciplined this way. So until I feel, I don't feel like I'm ready yet. Like I don't. I don't have that push that's telling me to quit. Even though there's days I do, you know, like everybody has those days you go to work, that person pisses you off. Or um, if it's just negativity and you just feel that way, like for that day. But it's like, I don't feel like I'm ready. <laughs> and I'm not going to let anybody pressure me into feeling ready. I just don't feel ready. Like, I don't feel like it's that time. Usually you'll know when it's that time, like with other people I spoke about, because I've talked about this with several people, even people that have never worked before. They've always had their business. It's like, how do you know when you're ready? And I just don't feel like I'm ready. Yet. I thought I was ready. But then like, like I said, as I actually thought about it, it was like, I don't feel like I'm ready because when I actually, you know, leave my job, I'm leaving my job for good. I'm leaving working for people for good. Like this is me taking entrepreneurship CEO 100% full time, like only focused on that. I'm not going back to work for somebody else. Once I take that step, this this is what it's going to be. It's like I'm not going to um, I'm not gonna be that person that quits and then six months into it I'm like dang I can't do this anymore I need my consistent money let me go back to this and a lot of things I've heard from people is like that do quit their full-time jobs they're not able to do things they were doing before because if you actually sit down and make a list of all the things you have going on like for example what are your monthly expenses Netflix if you if you pay for Apple music if you pay for Hulu if you pay for your phone bill if you pay for your car insurance your car note your nails your waxes once you actually make a list of all the things that you pay for monthly once you decide to quit your job, you won't be able to do all those things. And that's what I learned from a lot of people that quit their job. They're like, they basically said it's going to be months where you can't get your wax or you can't get your nails done or hair done or your eyebrow wax or anything like that because your business will become your only source of income. Right now, my job is my source of income that I mainly use. As far as my business, like I said, 
I don't touch my business income. I don't really pay myself for my business income. I just reinvest it right back into my business. I buy inventory. I sell it. Cool. I buy more inventory. And that's just how that goes. But as far as, you know, like if I decide to quit my job, now the money that I've been getting, you know, for my um, car insurance. And then when I finally move into my, ho my house and I have to pay for my mortgage, all that income will all be put on my business income. So now it's like, okay, I need to make enough business wise to where I can be able to pay for my mortgage, my car insurance, my waxes, my nails, and all these other my hair like you got to get your hair done or you gonna look like a bum like your hair and stuff like that you got to think about all of that. So that's why I say don't ever let anybody pressure you into doing anything. If you work a 95 nine to five, okay, let your not my nine to five funded my business. Like I literally started my business. I really started my business with my leftover hair salon money that I had set aside because like I said, even when I was work doing hair, y'all, I didn't spend that money. I had another job. I was either working at JCPenney's. I think I was working at JCPenney's at the time. So my JCPenney's money is what I was using, you know, pay my car note and stuff like that. And the money I was actually making from doing hair, I had it set aside. So when I decided to start a business, I used all those savings that I had set aside from when I was doing hair. And then I used some of my actual job money now. And as my business started to grow, I worked all this overtime and kept investing, investing, investing. And it's an investment. Wouldn't you rather invest your money into your business versus just having it sit into the bank? Who would not? Because if your money's sitting in the bank, it's just pennies. Like, when I look at my savings account sometimes and when it's like the next month, I'm like, dang, I got all this money in my savings account and I only got cents. Like... I only got sense from it so why not invest into your business but another thing I wanted to talk about is like the good stuff about having a business when you have a business yes you're your own boss your own CEO you are the boss you don't have to answer to nobody you call the shots but that also comes with a lot as well because you know when you work uh, your nine to five you're not really in charge of everything there's somebody above you and above that person who's in charge of everything depending on where you work. When you're a CEO of your business, you're in charge of ordering inventory. You're in charge with, of contacting suppliers. You're in charge of the website and keeping it updated with new arrivals and stuff like that. You are the customer service. And I'm speaking on if you don't have a team, if it's just you. You are in charge of, excuse me, you are in charge of the social media, the promoting, excuse me y'all, the customer service, if there's an issue, that goes to you. And if something's wrong, it, it, it goes to you. If you do something wrong at your full-time job, it doesn't really... It kind of will make your job look bad, but not really as the sense as now that you're a CEO. And if you curse somebody out or something, that could kind of affect your whole brand, if that makes sense. Because y'all know how people like employees, like if you go to McDonald's and the, the cashier is rude to you or something like that, that might make you not want to go to McDonald's for a while, but you still might eventually go there. But if the actual CEO of McDonald's was rude or something to you, you probably never shop there again. So I hope y'all get what I'm saying. But I'm basically saying when you're actually the CEO, you have to... You have to be more respectful no matter how rude people try to come at you. It's just a whole different look on things. And like I said, it's so many pros and cons to having a business and being a, a CEO. And like I said, I am both. And I don't like personally, I don't feel like I'm at that point, even though people who don't even know me try to pressure me. Like when I post the videos before or when I'm on live, well, why do you still work your job? And like I said, I've just been disciplined that way and I just don't feel like it's ready. Like, of course I can quit my job. I can go tomorrow and quit. And I'm pretty sure I'll be okay, you know, when I quit. It's not like I'm gonna be bankrupt or anything like that. I've saved a lot of money, so it's not like, like I said, it's not like I'm not gonna be fine. Cause who wouldn't wanna, you know, get up when you wanna get up, but I've just been so disciplined all my life even when I wasn't getting up to go to work I was getting up to go to school so it's like I've just been so disciplined and I feel like when I'm ready to quit like I just want to be disciplined to where I know I still treat my business as a job I still want to be able to get up at at least eight or nine o'clock and be productive I don't want to just you know sit in bed all day because that's what a lot of people do they'll just literally sit in bed 
all day go out party whatever have um people's orders sitting and stuff like that and i don't want that to be me i want to still be productive i want to still treat my business as an actual job even though it's not a job because i'm doing something that i love but i still want to treat it in that manner to where it's like okay i'm a, i want to uh, be organized and give myself off days like okay even if it's a four day off day and these three days are strictly hardcore focusing on business those three days i need to be productive and focus on business and i you know like but i'm glad you know i i got this channel i'm taking you guys on this journey with me so y'all can see that it's okay to work your full-time job and be a business owner and be a ceo it's okay because <laughs> I'm doing it y'all if I could do it you could do it too and I was doing it while going to school as well and like I said now I have that off my plate and if you're doing all three like I was kudos to you sis because like I promise like I know I know I promise I know especially if you got kids too like I can't even imagine how like I I have those days sometimes where it's like dang like I need a mental break like that's why I go out of town so much because like I tell y'all all my life, I don't get a mental break until I am out of town or out of the house. Like I cannot get a mental break just by taking off work and sitting in the house. I'm still going to be surrounded by my inventory. If I still got to clean, I'm still going to be, you know, looking at it like, dang, I have to put up my laundry or dang, I have to do this. When I'm out of town, I still might think about it, but it won't overwhelm me as much. Like, dang, I get up and open my door and boom, I see all the stuff I got to do. Because when you're a business owner, it's a never ending job. When you work a full time job, once you leave your job, you might not care. You're not really, when you go home, you don't want to think about that stuff. But when you're a CEO, you constantly have to think about that stuff. Like with me, I'll be on vacation still posting on social media. Like I do not stop. Even last year on my birthday, my sister had to take my phone away from me because she was like, you're not about to do this today. <laughs> you're not about to do this today. Because I will literally be on my phone like constantly. Like business is never ending. You always got to be, you know, posting. You always got to be. And until you have a team or something like that, it's all gonna be on you it's all gonna be on you it's not like it's your full-time job where you could be like i don't care if this place da 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 no your business is a representation of you it's your brand it's your baby or so it should be so it should be your priority which mine is my priority and i i love my business so much but yeah that's pretty much it i wanted to say in this video but the main the moral of the video is don't let anybody pressure you to do something you don't want to do if you're not ready to quit your job don't let anybody force you into that and if you are ready to quit your job and you feel like that's right then as long as you feel like it's right in your heart then do uses but just make sure you have everything in order because like I said there's so many times people are like and I've seen it myself um with people I know in real life and people I have on social media they'll say they quit their job they're done with it because like I said having a job can sometimes take a toll on you if it's full of negativity and full of all this stuff and you be like you know what I got my business I'm gonna quit but you don't have everything set in order you want to make sure everything is in order you want to make sure you at least have enough inventory because you're not going to be getting this consistent money from your job so if you decide to walk out today will you be able to cover your bills do you have enough inventory to get you through like will you want to make sure that you are straight if you do decide to take that walk just make sure that you do have everything in order make sure you have money saved for a rainy day make sure you have money set aside so you don't have to go back to that because you never want to be that person who after you said all this like i'm done working for people a month later or two months later you back working or even at the same job i've seen people they say um i'm done working for people they quit months later like six to nine months later they back at the same job back at the same position i'm not saying that nothing's wrong with that but i'm saying me personally i don't want that to be me once i decide to say i'm out <laughs> i'm gonna be out for real but thank you everybody who watched this video all the way through please you know feel free to comment you know what you have to say in the comment section um make sure you're subscribed if you're not subscribed be sure to check out my other videos be sure to follow my personal instagram and my business instagrams all linked below and i don't know what else to say but yeah thank you everybody who watched the videos all the way through who genuinely supports this channel this shirt actually was sent to me by small black owned business and i did speak on it in the video that uploaded before this one so i will have his info linked down below so you can check him out but yeah i will see you guys on the next video Ooh.